last film we're reviewing this week is called Faster, and this stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And after all, you know, the family lovey-dovey movies he's been doing, some of which have actually been pretty decent, um, it's a, I guess you could say, it's a kind of a relief to see uh, Dwayne Johnson back in these movies. Uh, and uh, a scene where he, um, uh, an unforgettable scene, it almost makes you just, yeah, just wish, just shoots a telemarketer. Because let's face it, we've all thought about it, people. Don't act like, yeah, I thought about it. But um, I gotta say, though, Faster is just an overpacked suitcase disguised as a movie, which is, uh, I guess you could say, it's, it's kind of sad because Johnson has done these type of movies, like with the condensed version of Walking Tall, if you want to even call it a remake. But uh, he's good. He's got a good screen presence, and again, I, like I said, I'm, being a big wrestling fan, I obviously know about this man dating back some 15 years ago almost. And uh, it just seems to me that um, it just it just plays off like a, like a bunch of TV crime story, like plot points, just kind of swirling around in like an extra few minute longer special, if you will. Now, an ex-con played by Johnson did 10 years for his role in a bank robbery that turned very bad. Now, his role was that as a getaway driver, so basically he was almost as if he was the fall guy for, uh, I should say, the situation or whatever. But um, as we get to know his character a little bit, um, on screen he's only known as a driver, really. It's kind of strange, but... Uh, and uh, as a... Another one is identified as killer. Now, Billy Bob Thornton as you know, just kind of being Billy Bob Thornton, looking all grungy and just miserable, uh, plays a police detective uh, with a hair heroin problem. He's only known as cop. Now, I think Carla, uh, Carla, Carla Gugino, Gugino, I always forget how to pronounce her name, his partner, for some reason, has a real name in this movie, although I think that she could have been known as a better-looking cop. And, but then again, I can be better-looking standing next to Billy Bob Thornton, really, so... And really, who can? My my cat, who has a squished in face, could look better than Billy Bob Thornton. But uh, the script uh, here just really isn't a vehicle for Johnson. He deserves a lot better than this. He's been really good in films like The Rundown, um, as well as um, crap, a Scorpion King, as well too. So he's uh, yeah, that's the thing. He really, really has passion for action movies. He's just not getting the right ones. But he better hurry up and get some. Otherwise, his stuff's gonna be straight to video very soon, and he's gonna be giving Vince McMahon a call to come back to the WWE. Now, and this thing, this is an actor I want to see succeed, kind of like some of Stallone's more eh stuff uh, that he did. You know, and again, it's just, that, it's just that thing where he has all the right tools. He has even some of the better tools that make some of the, even the famous action stars today. But, like, he's better, he has some of the things that he's better than them in that aspect. But what I'm basically trying to say is that this is a guy I could see being a Bruce Willis type movie. Maybe not playing a Bruce Willis type character, mind you but a Bruce Willis type concept of a movie, if you will. Now, I think Bruce Willis is probably the most, consi at least consistently anyway, action star still going today, who can still draw money in the box office and whatnot. So, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta find his formula. Bruce Willis found a formula that worked for him, and I think Johnson still needs to really find that. I think he should stick to maybe the action comedies, which he did so well, like I said, with the rundown. Faster, um, again, like I said, it's a revenge story. Uh, you know, he's finding you know, people responsible for his brother's uh, death, taking, great revenge into his own hands kind of movie. There's really not much more to explain the plot outside of that. Um, but either way, some action fans are just in for a quick fix of an afternoon matinee movie. Wait till it gets to a cheaper theater or whatever and maybe see it then. But other than that, this movie just did not want... This, this, this movie just did not do anything for me. Uh, so I give Faster two stars out of five.